I just love Facebook Marketplace. Look what I picked up yesterday. Guy was selling this because he couldn't figure out how to fix it. $750 lawnmower right here. This is a Husqvarna uh, all-wheel drive, a four-wheel drive lawnmower with a Honda GCV 160 engine on it. Gave it to me for free because he couldn't figure out how to fix it. He took the muffler off. He took uh, the carburetor off. He took the ignition module, the coil off. He took the brake mechanism on the flywheel apart. He took the flywheel nut off, and that's when he said, he told me this, he said that's when he stopped. He couldn't figure out how to get the flywheel off after he took the nut off. So he was like, that's enough, I'm done. Gave it to me for free. We are gonna figure this out and figure out why he started ripping this apart, and then we're gonna fix it. Oh, keep your fingers crossed. We're gonna fix it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for coming back to Steve Small Landed Saloon again. I appreciate that. Website's right there as usual. Check it out when you get a chance. So this guy said to me why he was giving this to me. He said that the spark plug kept getting fouled on it. Now, this is the original spark plug that he had in there. That does not look very fouled to me at all. So I do not know why he kept saying that the spark plug kept getting fouled. I'm thinking that maybe because the engine was over choking. That's what my guess is. Hey, before you watch the rest of the video, why don't you put some comments down right in the comment section. Tell me what you think is going to be the problem. I think that it's going to be one of two things. Here's the big one that I noticed. His air filter is soaked in engine oil. Could it be that he tipped it over on the wrong side, soaked the engine, soaked the uh, air filter with engine oil, and now the, the air filter is choking out the engine? Could it be that it's the wax pellet system on here that little thing right there that is a huge problem on these hondas too with that choke style uh if that pellet that little wax pellet heats up and it doesn't push that little pin out then it's going to leave the choke on it won't open the choke also the engine is going to be choking itself out and running super super rich and possibly maybe that's why he was thinking that the spark plug kept getting fouled I did some preliminary checks on this. Uh, the crankshaft is not bent. It has compression. Um, I can see in, the, now that he's got the muffler and the carburetor off, I can look in both of those ports right there at the valve stems. It is super clean in both of those, exhaust valve and intake valve. Super clean in there. Obviously it must have had spark because it was still it was running when he had this problem and um that's about all i can really do right now i have no choice to, but to put everything back together on this i have to reassemble the entire thing so we can troubleshoot this properly right from scratch but i think it's really going to be one of those two things either the air filters choking it out or that uh wax pellet mechanism on there is not opening the choke after it's running give me a couple minutes reassemble it okay so as you can see we got her all buttoned back up oh and by the way i forgot to mention i did actually just pop the the uh, bowl off of the carburetor just have a look in there and you can see right there on that clip super clean in there clean as a whistle i just put it back together and i put everything back together Except I did, I left the air filter off and the air filter cover off because I want to be able to look in there and see if the choke mechanism is actually working properly. So let's fire this up and have a look.
that I, I can't get my camera in there. I already tried, so you can see the butt choke butterfly opening, but it is opening. So that uh, automatic choke on this thing with that wax pellet is absolutely working properly. We're gonna fire this up again. Check this out, give me a sec. This is the air filter that he had on that thing. Pay close attention, I'm gonna start this up again. Watch this and listen for this. So can you believe that? The guy that gave me this lawnmower went out and bought himself a brand new $750 lawnmower because he tipped this one on the wrong side, causing the engine oil to drain out and saturating that air filter right there. Plugging the air filter, causing the engine to choke out. And that's what he was probably thinking on there with why he said the, the spark plug kept fouling on it. Well, I put a brand new air filter on that. I let it run for a good 10, 15 minutes out there. After what you guys saw, never missed a beat. It runs like a brand new lawnmower. Well, lucky me. Hey, you think I got lucky on this one again? Put some comments down right underneath this video. Tell me what you think. Tell, put some comments down. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. And um, subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Share this with your friends. Um, yeah, you know what? If you want to give me a thumbs up button, that'd be pretty cool too. Um, oh, you know what else? If this guy would have watched this video right there, he would have saved himself $750. How to tip your lawnmower over properly. Check that one out. Click on that one next. And till the next video for me guys and girls steve out <laughs>